So I was in a conversation today with someone that made me think a little bit deeper into the responses that we normally give to people. Um, you know, there's so many people that are confused and they're struggling and they're upset and they're emotionally unstable. And part of the reason that they make some of the desperate decisions that they make is not because they're crazy. It's not because they're clinical. It's not because they're possessed. It's not because they're spoiled, rotten brats. Um, a lot of times it's just because they feel so alone and so secluded instead of included that they just make this assumption that they must be the only one going through this. And as a result of that, they, they start breaking down what would be normal rationale and they start listening to sometimes crazy advice or people who are on the extreme side of everything and they let they let that influence their own decision making process and i just think it's a shame because the bottom line is we all want someone to tell us that they think we're okay they we want someone to tell us that they love us we want to feel accepted we want to feel part or included um, in a group or a friendship or whatever and the biggest resolve that can happen is just for someone to approach them and say hey you're okay it, you know what if you knew what was going on in my mind you would think that you're totally normal um, but you know they start thinking well I'm the only one that thinks this way I'm the only one that feels this way so I just must be crazy or I just must be odd or whatever and I think once you buy into that mindset that you're the only one and that you're weird or you're odd or no one could possibly like you because if they knew what kind of person you really are, then they wouldn't want to have a thing to do with you. But you know what? There is no such thing as normal. Normal is just a setting on your clothes machine. It's not something that happens in real life. Everybody's weird. The only difference is, is that most of us have learned how to cope with everyone else. We've learned what is socially acceptable. And so we've learned how to dummy down our own individual weirdness so that we can be accepted by other people. But when you get into your own private home or when you get off to yourself, we all do things that everyone else would consider weird or we consider odd. So I think what I'm trying to say is that we've got to get to a point where people who feel cast out or people who feel like no one cares about them or people who just feel like they're the only one fill in the blank that has experienced or thought or done or whatever. Maybe we just need to help them understand, you know what? I'm just as messed up as you are. I'm just messed up in a different way. I think maybe that's the best approach to helping out people who are hurting is to let them know, you know what? You don't have it all together either. You're just faking it better than they are or you're learning how to cope with it a little bit better. And don't get all theological on me. I'm not saying that we can't rely on Jesus to fortify us and to build us up and to get us through the hard times. What I am saying is that I think a lot of people have pushed that agenda so hard that even when they're really not experiencing that love from God, when they're in that low place, when they're in that valley, when they're in that time when they are even questioning where their strength is coming from, they can't admit it. And so then you wind up with these people who are bouncing around off of all of these people who are acting like they got it all together. And really, we don't have it together either. We're just faking it. And so now you got these other people who think, well, they've got it all together. I'm the only one who can't get it all together. I'm the only one feeling this way. And so they become so isolated internally in their mind and their psyche that they start thinking they don't have a reason to live. They don't have anybody that would care about them or love them or appreciate them. So what's the purpose in going on in this life? And I think that's pro possibly, probably, where as a society we're going wrong. We can't admit that we have our own bag of junk that we're dealing with. We have our own issues that we're dealing with. Maybe we just cope a little bit better, but we're all dealing with stuff. So my challenge to myself and maybe to some of you today is admit that you've got stuff in your life that's not quite right. And maybe you can help somebody else out along the way. Maybe instead of saying, I know how you feel, <laughs> which is a 
non-intelligent response to most people. You have no idea how they feel. You don't know what their situation is within the context of that situation. You weren't raised by their family. You haven't experienced their experiences. So you don't know how they feel and I don't know how they feel. I know how I have felt. I know experiences that I've gone through that might be similar to those experiences, but I have no clue as to how they really feel. So maybe a better answer is just to say, you know what? I might not be the same kind of messed up that you are, but I'm my own, I am my own special kind of messed up. And so maybe together we can kind of help each other out a little bit. The Bible calls that, it's this crazy phrase, it's called iron sharpens iron. So basically, your life and my life, if they encounter each other, maybe we can strengthen each other in the areas where we're strong. Maybe some of your strength can rub off on me and maybe some of my strength can rub off on you. So today, as you're getting ready to roll into your weekend, it's Friday evening, maybe you're gonna encounter somebody this weekend that just needs a little, a little extra dose of, I care about you. So I wanna encourage you to, to give that to somebody this weekend. I love you guys, talk to you later.